is a start of a series of videos that I will be making, uh, basically discussing my fondness for vintage computing and retro um, video games. I collect consoles and software, the games. Uh, as you can see, I, I have a fondness for Coleco, um, Atari, you know, the normal stuff. Somewhere around 1999, maybe 2000, I was in a Salvation Army, uh, a thrift store, and I saw a Coleco Atom computer, which was my first computer and I had nothing but fond memories of it. Uh, uh, well, it, it cost five bucks. For five bucks, I could have taken it home, right? And I, I really wanted it. I, I mean, I should have had it. It should have it back in my possession. I didn't have five dollars on me. I know that's both sad and bogus, but uh, <laughs> I didn't have five bucks. So that, that I left there without the Coleco Adam and it gnawed at me. Now, over the next few years, uh, every time I saw something um, dealing with um, vintage computing, I was always intrigued. I wanted to read about it, look it up, look it up. and then was, um, a few years later I was in a thrift shop and I saw uh, for like three bucks or something a Epson PS8 uh, from the notebook a computer from I believe 84, 1984. Really impressive device. And I didn't know anything about it at the time. I was just like, wow, this is interesting looking. It had a micro cassette drive and, uh, and it had these funky ROM chips, which turned out to be the software. So I bought it, three bucks. And a few years after that, uh, I, I, I was determined to get the Coleco Adam back in my possession uh, and I would go on eBay and, and look at them but then I ran into a group of um, Adam computer enthusiasts and the guy uh, in charge uh, named Bob I decided to buy one from him and you know he sold me one uh, with the original box and everything uh, with a big plus I from there on I tried to make the point I mean I get something in my collection, I want it in the original box, right? It doesn't have to be new or mint, just get me the original box. So, it's a lot harder than it sounds, but you're talking about stuff that's 30 plus years old. I mean, what are the odds that people get the box? Some people do, some people, you know. Uh, and because of that, I make a point now, whenever I buy something new, Especially electronic, I keep the box because you never know. Anyway, uh, so I bought that Coleco Adam, I believe it was 2006. Um, and then from there on, I, I went uh, a little um, a little crazy. I, <laughs> I started buying the Commodore, uh, Atari 400, 800, etc. etc. Um, somebody used the phrase buying back your childhood. Yeah, I think it's safe to say I was <laughs> trying to buy back my childhood. Yeah, I, I tried to get some of the things I used to have as a kid uh, back in my collection. And my daughter, who's about four, um, does in fact play with some of this stuff. And uh, I, from what I can tell, she enjoys it. Uh, well, that's my intro, uh, my story into how I got into collecting this stuff. Um, I'll be back with more videos. I, I hope you uh, <laughs> stick around and uh, watch those. Uh, and don't forget, I got a whole bunch of unboxing videos uh, for retro stuff. Uh, and I do make videos for the retroists. If you've never heard of that website, shame on you. Uh, www.retroists.com. Uh, the address right here. Um, if you're a fan of all things uh, retro, retro TV, retro movies, uh, toys, whatever you think of, comic books, that site talks about it. And he also, the retroist himself, makes an audio podcast, which um, I have for the last, I think, couple of years, 
then turn those audio podcasts into video podcasts. So I'm a guy that's been doing the video editing for that. I even draw the, um, let's just say subpar animation that would be in the videos. Uh, <laughs> anywho, uh, again, check out that site. Check out my videos on this, um, my YouTube page. And, um, alright, stay tuned for more. Take care.